Senator John Thune of South Dakota is chairman of the Senate Republican Conference, and he joins us now. Senator, good morning. Good to have you here. Good morning, Margaret. Obviously, uh, heading into the 4th of July weekend, these are chilling words coming from the director of the CIA, and I don't think that anybody at home is surprised to hear them, frankly, um, because ISIS would, of course, love to pull off something like this in the United States. What are the chances that they could? Right. Well, I, mean, I think we have to assume that that's what they're planning, Martha. And, uh, you know, based on the success that they've had and this most recent attack in Istanbul, it fits the formula that uh, from Paris and Brussels and Orlando and San Bernardino. Um, so I think we have to use absolute vigilance in this country, assuming that that's their, that's their ultimate objective, is to success, successfully conduct or execute an attack here in the United States. And, and uh, I, I, mean, we're, I think our intelligence community and law enforcement com community, everybody's going to be doing everything they can to prevent that. But we as Americans, I think, have to do everything that we can as well uh, to ensure that we're exercising all caution when we travel and, uh, and pointing out things that look like they're out of the ordinary. I mean, there's no doubt that people need to keep their eyes open. And if they see something that seems even the slightest bit unusual, they're going to have to speak up because we have a record of, of civilians and people on airplanes being the ones who are be able to draw to uh, the authorities' attention that something is awry. So that's something that we have to focus on. But I know there's legislation in the Senate and the House. How close are they to finishing that and what good would it do at this point? Well, there are several things in the in the bill, and it is very close to being completed. I think we'll have it wrapped up here, uh, an agreement between the House and the Senate that we can vote on, hopefully as early as next week, and get to the president, get it signed into law. Um, but there are things in there that I think are important. One of the things that we've seen is that people that are population groups or, or uh, you know groups of people outside of the perimeter, outside of the security checkpoints, where they are are very vulnerable to attack. And what this does is that. It uh, increases the number of P TSA pre-check people so that they're not standing out in those areas where they're, where they're not through the security checkpoints. It requires stronger vetting of airport employees because one of the things about the Metrojet airliner uh, attack in Egypt was the assumption is that that was an, an, an aviation or an airport employee that was able to uh, place the bomb on that plane. And so it strengthens that. It puts more canines out in those areas so that uh, they can sniff these sorts of things out. There are just a lot of measures in the bill that we think are going to strengthen aviation security, and they're things that we need to do given the threats that we face. Yeah. You know, uh, the thing that concerns me the most is the Orlando attacker and the Boston bombers, both of whom were on the FBI radar. What's being done? so that if someone is on that radar, we know that they will not be able to fly. We know that they will be questioned more. I mean, you know, Donald Trump has said essentially that he thinks we need to increase our profiling capability. And in, in that means look at people who fit the profile, who pull off these kinds of attacks. Are you, do you object to that? I, no, I mean, I think we need to have, there are people we have on lists, no-fly lists, selectee lists, uh, known and suspected terrorist lists, uh, people that can't board planes, pay, people that are being watched by uh, the FBI. And, uh, yeah, you have to hope that we're going to be strengthening all those efforts and that our intelligence community is going to be paying careful attention uh, to anybody who fits that criteria. And I think that, you know, speaking in a serious way about the need for stronger security and the need to ensure that we have strong security tests, people coming into the country, uh, all these things are part of a, a solution to something that I think mm -hmm. is a re very serious threat facing American, American travelers, and it's something that we need to take with that level of seriousness. You know, in, in closing, one more question for you. Let's put a number up on the screen because this is chilling. You think about the, the war that's being fought in Syria and Iraq, but there is an ongoing war in the streets and in the airports around this world. Over 1,200 people since 2014 have been killed in ISIS attacks outside of Syria and Iraq. How seriously are we engaged in this war, Senator? Well, I think that we've got to be more engaged, Martha. You know, obviously the best thing we can do, too, is to deny these jihadists a, a territorial base of operation and defeat them there. But this radicalization, um, you know, the, the, the attempt to get people in countries around the world radicalized and willing to uh, commit these acts of terror, I think is, the, is a very, very serious threat. And the one that uh, most concerns me is I think about the homeland and Americans here and making sure that we maintain um, levels of safety, uh, ensure 
sure that people who travel in this country can do it in a, in a safe way. Uh, I think we have to take, and, and you can tell by the, the public opinion polls, the American people see this, they're nervous about it, and they need to know with confidence that their elected officials and their uh, law enforcement intelligence community are doing everything possible to ensure their safety. And so it's going to take a, a combined effort, uh, and, uh, and we just have to, we have to double down because this is not going to go away. Uh, these are people who are intent on killing Americans, and we need to be prepared for that. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, we cannot have more attacks from people who were on the radar and who have been interviewed by the FBI and whose records are well known. Um, it's a needle in a haystack, as we've heard from the director of the FBI, but we are in a very serious situation. I think Americans know it, uh, and they feel it every day. John Thune, Senator, thank yeah. you so much.